Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm here with Barbie from the Netflix show, A Touch of Magic. And here she is in the box. She comes with a little puppy and a little butterfly. And these are the two different dolls you can get. I'm, I'm still going to get her. And then this is the back of the box. And there is the unicorn you can get with the puppy. And I passed up on that one. And unfortunately, when I went back for it, it was gone. And it looks like this is all the characters from the show. So I'm not sure if there's dolls for each character. I just know that there's this doll and this doll because I've seen both of those. So let's take her out of the box. Okay, it looks like she's pretty easy to pull from the box. I went ahead and opened the top. It just has these little clamp things. And the bottom opens regular. It looks like it had already been opened before, unfortunately. And then you just cut the tape and you can pull her from the box. So then she's on this pretty background. It looks like she's in the sky. You got some clouds and some rainbow patterns up there in the sky with some stars. Some more clouds over here and below her. And it is dated 2023, Mattel. And it looks like most of it is clamped on the back. So I'm going to cut her free and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I've got most of her bands undone. So we're going to tip her over here. And then hopefully everything's undone. So there she is. First off, here is her comb. It has a bee down there, which is the Barbie logo. logo. And you can see some stars. Then she comes with this hair piece that's pink and it has a little wing on it. And that's for her hair. And then she comes with her cute little puppy who is wearing a pink tutu that is removable. And then she comes with her purple and pink butterfly. So his body is purple and his wings are a pink glittery sparkle. And they have stars on them as well. I've never seen this show. I just like the doll. That's why I've got I got it. But I don't have Netflix, so I've never really seen the show or anything like that. Her hair is soft, and it's a pretty purple and blue with crimps in it.
And she's wearing this silver tiara, and it looks like it's attached to her head with a little plastic attachy. And I think I will leave that in there so it doesn't come out. But it has like silver diamonds and then some silver stars. And then she's not wearing wings on her back, but she's wearing wings on her arms. So they're like a blue glitter. And then she's got this wings on her chest. I don't think she does anything. These are like a rubbery material. Here is her face up close. I do like her. Um, I'm not sure about her smile though. I think they could have done better with the smile. Her dress is molded on her. The top part and the bottom is actually removable by Velcro. And she's got like a pink molded on bathing suit bottom underneath it. I forget what this material is called. It's a purple see-through material like tutus. Um, I can't think of the name of it offhand but it's got some purple stars and some silver stars there that are metallic. I don't know why I can't think of the name of it. And then she's got this uh, pretty pink material up here. And it's just pink solid and it is sewn down there at the bottom so that it doesn't come apart or anything. It has good sew lines and it has silver stars on it. I guess it would be like a purple lace down at the bottom. And there is three layers to the skirt. So you have your pink silver stars, the silver belt, then it's like purple uh, lace, and then up underneath that is this pretty, pretty purple slip like under slip it's like a lavender color that's to give the skirt some poof to it and so that you can uh, not see through this second material here and then she is wearing these cute little silver shoes they're heels or wedges with pretty stars going up the center. And she doesn't have much articulation, none in the feet, none in the knees. She just brings her legs up and down. And she can sit like this. Her hands are straight, no uh, elbow articulation, just articulation at the shoulders. This thing is sticky. I wonder why it's sticky. So this is the wings or the middle of her dress, the decoration, and it it's kind of sticky feeling. Not sure I like that. It's like the paint warmed up and now it needs washed. Her head turns and it goes up and down kinda. 
but she doesn't have much articulation, which I'm fine with. I'm not really into all the articulation stuff. I'm kind of old school when it comes to that. I don't mind that their arms are straight and that they just go out, which she can bring her arms up, which is nice. And she's just really the basic doll. Sometimes it's good to have articulation, but you don't always need articulation, in my opinion. So, there she is. I'm not sure she has a name. Let me know down in the comments if you know if she has a name, because it was not written on the package. I would assume that she has a name. Is it Barbie? Or does she have another name? All in all, I think she's really cute. The only thing I don't like about her is the sticky part on her top here. And this is not is not able to be removed. Sometimes when rubber warms up and then cools down, it leaves sticky feelings. So there she is. This is her butterfly. And this is her puppy. She doesn't have articulation in her arms, so she really cannot hold the puppy. Let's see. She might can kind of hold the butterfly. We'll just stand the puppy up beside her. Let me know if you love Barbie by clicking that thumbs up button. And make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.